Hello, everybody. Apologies for the delay in uploads. I've had some troubles with the law. Something about safe employee conditions and public urination, which, by the way, nobody told me was illegal. But there have been some changes behind the scenes since you last saw me. I hired a new co-co-host called Balthasar. Employees now get time off during the night, and there are fewer bloodstains in the kitchen. Also, we got this cool new ceiling fan. If you're wondering what inspired me to finally return after my hiatus, let me explain. I was walking along the coast, rummaging through trash bins, you know, the usual. All of a sudden, I saw a glowing light, and God Almighty descended upon me, and he laid a tablet in my hands, and vanished as quickly as he had come. When I looked down at the tablet, it became clear to me that I held in my hands an objective list of the ten worst elements on the periodic table, and that it was my divine mission to reveal it to the world. Starting us off is the metalloid boron. Boring, am I right? <laughs> By taking a quick look at the periodic table, you'll see that boron is only element number 5, and is surrounded by all sorts of iconic and useful elements, such as hydrogen, lithium, carbon, and oxygen. Meanwhile, boron is about as useful as hand sanitizer at an orgy. True, boron is used for fiberglass and some heat-resistant materials, but that pales in comparison to its neighbors. Also taking into account its minimal role in biological processes, boron has to start off this list. That you didn't see this coming. But if only we could stop stroking ourselves over the fact that it's shiny and stuff, we might see that gold is actually quite a dumb element. Try building something with it, for instance, and you'll quickly learn that it has all the strength of a wet paper towel. It does conduct electricity well, but for that purpose you might as well just use copper. There also isn't that much gold out there. Fun fact, if we took all the gold that's ever been mined and put it into one place, it would be the size of a cube with side lengths of only 21.7 meters long equivalent to about four giraffes. By comparison, we mine 37,000 times that amount of iron every year. Okay, my math is probably way off, but you get my point. Weak, sparse, and overhyped, gold takes the number nine place. This might seem a little harsh, but hear God out. The name Argon is derived from the Greek Argos, which literally means lazy. That's just depressing. Furthermore, argon is used to kill chickens in specialized gas chambers. Yeah. Einsteinium. I know, I know, helium constitutes like a quarter of all known mass, so we should be super thankful for it. But to be completely honest, helium is a bit of a dick! I remember when I was younger, I had this really cool Spider-Man helium balloon. I loved that balloon, and carried it with me wherever I went for all of like five minutes, since as soon as I accidentally let go of the string for just one second, it went floating away and I never saw it again. Any element whose biggest claim to fame is abandoning children and scarring them for life deserves shame. It's only thanks to funny helium voices that it isn't even lower on the list. Yeah, there was no escaping this fate, Mercury. You are pretty cool on like a surface level, only liquid metal and all that, but you're just way too poisonous. So much so that Mercury is largely being replaced in most of its traditional uses, such as in thermometers and pressure gouges, by safer materials. To give you an example of how dangerous Mercury can be, in 1997, renowned chemist Karen Wetterhahn was working with dimethyl mercury in a lab where she spilled one or two drops onto her hand. But she was wearing protective gloves, so no worries, right? I think you can see where I'm going with this. Those couple of drops that landed on her latex gloves were enough to kill her within a year of the accident. Relatively useless compared with its toxicity, Mercury has the feature. Now, I'm no chemistrician, but what the hell is praseodymium? Seriously? Or am I just out of touch? Has anyone ever heard of praseodymium outside of looking it up on the periodic table? Because I'm pretty sure half of these so-called elements don't even exist and are just academic hoaxes orchestrated by old professors desperate for tenure or whatever. Like, oh, my latest measurements were off by one millionth of a percentage. <gasps> I guess it's gotta be a new element. Couldn't be anything else. 
Stockholm, here I come. Either way, a really stupid element. First of all, apparently sulfur atoms bond together in groups of eight. What's that all about? Now, according to Wikipedia, sulfur is like important for our biological processes or whatever. But to be honest with you, I don't care. Sulfur smells bad, okay? Really bad. It makes me want to die. And ironically, dying is even worse than smelling sulfur occasionally because hell is full of sulfur. That is according to the Bible, at least. It's such a crappy element that it was literally used to threaten people into submission, otherwise they'd have to smell sulfur forever. Ultimately, anything that smells like rotten eggs deserves a place low on this list. So in number three it goes. Want to know what element is super boring? Thulium. Beyond portable x-ray machines, apparently, and we all know what an exciting field that is, thulium, or thulium, is utterly useless. There are chemists that have spent hundreds of hours studying it without finding any practical uses for it, because it's so rare and expensive. It's a metal that can literally be cut with a knife, and tarnishes just from being in contact with air. For shame, thulium! Lead is, without question, the worst element I have ever heard of. Lead is a really heavy metal, with 82 protons in its core, the heaviest of all the stable elements, in fact. I know being a heavy metal makes it sound really cool, but in truth, it's really soft and lame. Oh, and did I forget to mention, it's poisonous? So for the love of God, why does everybody insist on building with it? From ancient Rome to the 20th century, people used lead for all sorts of stuff. Cosmetics, coinage... Bullets, food containers, yeah, food containers. Oh, and how could I forget pipes? Lead is literally synonymous with pipes, as its atomic symbol, PB, stems from plumbum, which is Latin for plumbing. All this led to millions of Romans getting lead poisoning, which affects the brain most harshly and can cause intellectual disabilities. Some even connect this mass lead poisoning to the fall of the Roman Empire, though that sounds like a bit of a stretch in my expert opinion. Don't get me wrong. I don't blame the Romans for building pipes with lead, hindsight and all that, but the toxicity of lead has been known for hundreds if not thousands of years, so I do blame the idiots who were putting lead into paints and gasoline well into the 20th century, as in the 1970s, close to 80% of Americans had too much lead on their blood. Thankfully, today we apparently know better, so lead isn't as much of a problem. But that's thanks to science, and doesn't change the irrefutable fact that lead is a really stupid element. So that's the list. And remember, if there's anything you disagree with, you can't argue with me, since it was revealed to me by God.